I am a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z sneakers and Adidas and that's the reason why this sneaker is such a heaven send. Guys, this is my review of the Adidas Originals Dragon Ball Z Vegeta Ultra Tech. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving away a Fila Ray Folder sneaker in size 11 as well as a Supreme Box, the most hype box that you guys can ever use and bring with you uh, on this channel. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram, and click the links down below for the rest of the mechanics of the two giveaways. We're drawing the winners for both this Sunday already, so make sure that you guys are part of the pool. Go! Alongside this video, I did a review of the Adidas Originals Dragon Ball Z Majin Buu Commanda. Check out the link down below for my review and unboxing of this one, and as well as the entire playlist where I do all the reviews and unboxing of everything in the Adidas Originals Dragon Ball Z line. Let's get to the review. Vegeta, I said it properly, Vegeta, <laughs> is the, my favorite character of all time from the Dragon Ball Z series. From the time that I first saw him when I was a kid, watching it on RPN9, I think, here in the Philippines, in Tagalog, watching him kick ass, watching him, like, brutalize all the, I don't know what they were called, the friends of Goku, Yamcha, Tenshinhan, and everybody else. Him and Nappa were just tearing up the place, and yeah, I was such a fan. I've always been uh, a fan of the antagonist who becomes a hero who has that struggle. So for example, when Dragon Ball, it was Vegeta. For Ranma, I don't know who, who those of you who watch Ranma, it is such an old uh, anime and kind of dates me a bit. I was a huge fan of Kuno and Ryoga. Uh, when it came to, what, 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 what are like the latest animes? Just so you guys can relate. Kenshin, is that even like still relevant? But yeah, Kenshin Samurai X, I was a huge fan of Ayoshi. Uh, Ayoshi, man, that guy was so kick-ass. So again, you guys get a feel for the characters that I'm drawn to the most. And Vegeta is that kind of character when it comes to Dragon Ball. And that's the reason why why I am such... I was so excited to finally be able to cop this sneaker. This is like the signature shoe of Vegeta. And I'm, I'm just so thrilled to be able to add it to my collection. So let's get to the review. When it comes to the actual style, obviously it has Vegeta written all over it with the color blocking and the colorway. That These are the colors that are frequently used in his armor and in the stuff that he wears, from the white gloves, to the white uh, boots, to the yellow uh, plate in his abs and to his feet, uh, and the blue jumpsuit that he would wear, or the blue, I don't know, like spandex? <laughs> or armor that he wears but yeah this is classic vegeta and you probably will notice it the moment that you see it now apart from that it also has that iconic over 9000 statement here at the back it's over 9000 when he was trying to measure goku's power levels and lastly i just love the mix of materials that they use for the shoe from that really rich warm suede to that leather material that they put here as well as the nylon and the mesh it's just a fantastic well-built sneaker now the big question is how is this particular shoe on feet because it doesn't have boost that's the issue i think that a lot of people will take with this sneaker there's no boost this is just your typical foam material that you have here at the bottom i think boost sneakers in general have spoiled a lot of people but the reality is sneakers like this one are still super comfortable because they were built to be running shoes in the first place the ultra tech was a running sneaker the ultra tech that's the silhouette that they use for this one was built to cushion your feet when you are running for performance and that's still the same amount of technology and cushioning that you get with this shoe so having said that it is comfortable it is still not comparable to boost if you ask me but it's not bad it's not like wow terrible i think it's the price you have to pay because at the end of the day we have to pay for the ip of vegeta for the collaboration what do i mean by that this is the price of an ultra boost just imagine this is the price of your normal boost shoe now normally what you're asked to pay for is also the marketing and the sales and the people who are you know behind the sneaker and that's the reason why boost sneaker sell for like what nine thousand ten thousand pesos now if you add the ip of dragon ball and vegeta that's where they charge adidas and that gets passed on to us of course the price will be like that so if you're looking for an ultra boost adidas original sneaker you're looking at the price range anywhere north of 13 14 000, just based on my rough math and rough computation and that's the reason why for example the pharrell nmds those sneakers that you guys have here at the back are selling for a ridiculous amount of money at 13 000. But the reality is, how much are NMD sneakers? 7,000, 6,000. So you're paying for the name, you're paying for the brand, 
no different than this one. That one's Pharrell, the Keezys are Kanye, Jordan is Jordan, this is Vegeta. Overall, I, I'm, I'm really digging the shoe. But again, you guys have to take that with a grain of salt because I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball. Now, obviously, if you're not a Dragon Ball fan, you can just pass. You don't have to buy this one. There are a lot of great shoes that, came, that are coming out anyway the same time as this. There's the Yeezy uh, Sesame. There's the Yeezy 500 Salt. There's a bunch more of other sneakers from other brands that you guys can cop. But if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan and if you are trying to complete the set, this is simply a must-have. If you can't get the entire set, I think at the bare minimum, you can go for at least Vegeta and Goku and your set. Because I think out of the entire set so far, those are the two most comfortable sneakers that I've worn. And they are the two most iconic characters in the entire lineup. I mean, seriously, Goku, Vegeta. So yeah guys, that's it actually for the quick review. If you haven't seen my unboxing yet, that actually has a lot more detail. Click the link down below. Uh, this comes out this Saturday at, over at Seoul Academy Philippines. Uh, they are the reason why I'm able to do the early unboxing, the early reviews of the sneaker. So please do make sure if you are buying, try to get it from them uh, because they support the vlog and in turn, it allows me to do the videos for you guys. This one sells for 9,300 pesos. So it is literally over 9,000. So yeah, if you have the budget, if you want to buy it, if you're a collector, if you are completing the entire set, then it's definitely a must have. That's it for now. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend ahead. To those who are joining or who joined the raffle for the Sesame, I hope you guys were able to get one. To those who didn't take that W, don't worry. An, an L is just a delayed W. There are more sneakers down the road that you guys can be part of the raffle. The next one being the Easy 500 Salt. So that's it for now. Peace, God bless, what's up, boom!